they do with that power if not pump groundwater so we must give them an alternative uh, avenue for disposing of that power when they don't need to irrigate and that's why the solar power for irrigation in western india has to be in terms of uh, feed in tariff the farmers or tube bills must be net con must be connected with the grid they must have the option to sell the surplus power to the grid at a fairly remunerative, remunerative price. They should use the power that they need for irrigation, but there should be an opportunity cost to it. And the only way you can attach opportunity cost is by offering farmers an attractive feeding tariff. So what EMI has been recommending for the past over year, year and a half, is that we should moderate the capital cost subsidy to farmers in Western India, but we should offer them an opportunity to sell the surplus power. So, so incentivize farmers to grow solar energy as a crop, which they can sell in the market. The problem is, uh, is not so much with technology, but the problem may be with the institutional arrangement. If the electricity companies have to buy a small amount of solar power from a very large number of suppliers, then they would be, they will have to face very high transaction costs. And the transaction cost issues which in 1970s forced state electricity boards either to declare free power or flat power tariff will come back again. So we need to find an institutional solution to come to grips with this. And we believe that the best way of doing that is to form cooperatives of solar farmers. We believe that if the transaction costs of metering and measuring solar power and paying for that, if they are handled at the village level, and if the farmers in a particular village are invited to evacuate their power at one point on the grid, then the electricity company will just have to do with the job of monitoring at that particular one point. And then the cooperative has to, has to uh, absorb the transaction cost of monitoring among its different, different members. And um, under WLA, we are trying to mobilize a certain amount of, small amount of money to create uh, such a pilot solar farmers cooperative and demonstrate the idea. We believe that once the idea has been, has been proven and demonstrated, then it's something that can give a strong fillip to this entire movement.